Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I'm going to be doing this makeup look here. But before we get into the tutorial, I do have a sponsor for today's video. So today's video is kind of sponsored by Ana Luisa. So basically this month's sponsorship is actually a bit more special than every other month because this month, of course, we are celebrating a Mother's Day. Over here in Ireland, our Mother's Day is the 27th of March, whereas I think Mother's Day in the United States is actually May the 8th. I obviously love the pictures that I got this month because they're all earrings. I recently got a couple of new piercings and that's the reason why I got these earrings. Every single piece of earring I have <laughs> is all Ana Luisa. Like literally every single one <laughs> is Ana Luisa. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm obsessed. So I'm just going to zoom in for these first pair. So it's actually the wee second pair of huggy hoops that I have here. Now as I was saying these are all Ana Luisa. Literally every single one of them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so these are the new ones. I initially had this earring here, but I kind of think that obviously as the piercings go up, they need to go smaller. So I did kind of switch these around. So these are the new ones I have here. And these are the Alisa small huggy hoop earrings. And these are, as you can see, a really nice small dainty quilted hoop. And they do feature a really timeless and elegant structure. As I say, quilted design. They are dipped in 14K gold and they honestly are absolutely stunning. I love the fact that they are the most perfect huggy style. Like as you can see, they are quite tight to my ear. Whereas you can see with this one here, like this wee earring here, it's a wee bit more dangly. I just love it. I just love how nicely it fit it is to the ear. They're such good quality, really, really nice and lightweight with a nice high polish finish, as you can see. But this is what I mean, like I absolutely love Anna Louisa earrings. I will literally have these in 24 seven. I sleep in them, I wash myself in them, go to the shower, the bath, whatever it is. I literally live in these earrings. They are honestly the best quality. And whenever I do have brand new piercings, obviously I wait so many months until it completely heals. And then I will literally just like stick these jewelry in them. I love it. <laughs> because I loved the look and the design of these wee huggy earrings, I obviously had to get the matching ear cuff. I just know this is now the third ear cuff that I actually have from Annalisa and I wear these all the time. They are so so handy. If you're somebody that doesn't really want to commit to getting like a conch piercing or like this type of piercing, go for an ear cuff. So again I'll just give you a wee zoom in so you can see. So that's obviously what it looks like here and these are so super super comfortable. I'm just going to check it out here so you can actually see it a wee bit better. So that's just what it looks like there and I'm also going to put it back in again so you can see how easy it actually is to put on. Obviously it would be easier if you don't have nails but I will. But that's it. Easy peasy. <laughs> but as I say, this is the, I think it's pronounced the Giada? Giada? I do apologise if I am absolutely butchering that. But just like the wee huggies that I showed you there, this is the matching ear cuff. And it just has that really high shine quilted design. And it's also dipped in 14k gold. And it's just, it's absolutely stunning. But you can obviously wear this wee ear cuff alone as just like a wee minimalist, nice casual look. Or you can obviously stack and pair it up with the way I have it now. I just think they're absolutely stunning. And they're so complimentary to any look. They just look so stylish and chic and sleek. I absolutely love them. So next up I have these wee earrings here. Of course I don't have them on just yet. I'll obviously have them on for like the wee try on clip for you. But basically these are the Cody ear cuffs and these are just like a nice wee modern twist on a classic style hoop. And they're obviously a gold hoop with a feature centered gemstone. They're lightweight, they're dainty, they're absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that they're just like a nice wee casual hoop. Like you can wear them alone and stack them up on the ear. I think I mention this nearly every single time I do an a video. It's the fact that I find their jewellery so so versatile I kind of feel like there's something for everybody but yeah like as I was saying guys do check them out at the minute because they will have 20% off site wide so if you want to pick up yourself something or of course your mum something or you can do like wee matching pieces down below in the description box I will have a direct link to you. everything that I did show you here today and of course a direct link just to their website as well and don't forget that they do have a 20% off sale and now into the makeup I'm going to start with my eyes today actually guys and I'm going to start with applying these wee shadow shields and prepping my lips with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I'm going to be taking actually a couple of palettes but the first one I'm going to take is the Soft Glam from Anastasia. I apologise that this palette is absolutely disgusting <laughs> but this is my goal for the year. I'm trying to get through this so I don't actually have a transition colour left in this palette because all these shades here are too dark. I know I have 
orange soda but it's a bit too peachy for my liking to act as a transition so I think I'm actually just going to use my bronzer for today so I'm going to take the Morphe and Havana Greg bronzer this one here and this is in the shade Cali and I'm just going to pop this just within my crease So I'm not really wanting to do too much in my crease because I am wanting to do a bit of a smoky liner situation. Um, but I'm just wanting to give my eye a wee bit of definition and a wee bit of contour. So I know I usually use my wee collaboration with Buff and Blend, my 01 for this, but I swear to goodness, do you know what it is? They're all dirty. <laughs> I literally washed all these brushes literally a couple of days ago and that's the state of them already. I can never keep them clean. I suppose that's a good sign though because I literally use them every single day and I'm obviously filming so much at the minute. So now into the Soft Glam by Anastasia and I'm just going to go balls deep and just go straight into the black shade. I'm going to take this on my Buff and Blend 03 brush. I would use my 05. I love my 05. This wee one here but this is absolutely cloud and gel liner. I have another one here that's cloud and concealer. I have another one here that's pink. <laughs> but this wee brush here just works just as well because I'm just going to start packing this just on the outer corner at the lash line. I was actually packing up my makeup the other day because obviously I'm still in the middle of moving, still haven't got my keys yet. <laughs> Still haven't actually moved, um, but yeah, I'm still actually in the middle of like packing up my stuff and packing up my makeup. So whenever I was packing up my makeup, I came across this, but it's this wee liquid metallic eyeshadow from Elf, and I thought that this would be really, really nice on the eye somewhere, like the lower lash line, or I don't know. So we're going to see where we can put it, but I'm first off just wanting to do a wee bit of smoky liner on the lid. And then I have left like the tiniest wee gap you can see there on the lower lash line. So I'm also going to drag that shadow down there as well. And then I'm actually just going to start blending with this as well. So just going on pattern motions. Then taking one of my 02 brushes. I know it's minging. Nothing I can do about it. Well, I go into one of these other shades to kind of help me blend a wee bit. Um... Cypress Umber maybe, this shade here. I'm going to take one of my 04 brushes which is also dirty. So I'm going to go back down those shades again just to re-intensify them. So back in with the black and I'm also keeping this quite tight to the lash line. And then back into Cypress Umber with my 02. And I'm not going to take anything on my 04 while I do we blend everything. I'm going to be taking the NYX The Marshmallow Primer. I really like this wee primer. It's really nice actually. A bit gimmicky, <laughs> um, but I do like it. Like I do actually reach for it at the one time. It's just really nice on my skin. It just leaves a really nice finish on my skin as well. It is quite dewy, which I quite like. I do have obviously dried normal my skin, so I obviously like a primer that is quite hydrating or moisturising and kind of feels like a moisturiser on my skin. And that's literally just what it feels like, but it just kind of leaves like a nice wee glow to my skin. But now for foundation. I'm absolutely loving the new Be Perfect Cosmetics Chroma Cover Foundation, but I'm not even sure I'm gonna have four shades in this at the minute. But I can still not get my perfect shade. <laughs> Basically, the one I'm using here is N6, and then I got N4. So N6 is too dark, and then N4 is too pink on me for some reason. So I'm kind of thinking that N5 might be the way to go. <laughs> Do you ever blend that much at your foundation or concealer that your arm actually gets sore? So for concealer I'm taking the Dior Forever Skin. This is in the shade 0, zero N.
this is honestly such a beautiful concealer but the only thing is I just wish it had a lighter shade I'm pretty sure this shade that I'm actually using is the lightest shade that they have and then for cream bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer from H&B Cosmetics. And the shade I take is SF5W. I absolutely love this concealer for cream bronzer now. I'm now going to do a bit of beckon with the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Powder. I'm going to be taking the EXO Beauty Diamond Baby Highlight Palette. This is Shannon Xo's Wee Highlight Palette. And I usually take Lace, which is the lighter shade in the palette, but I'm going to take Bouquet. So this kind of has like a silvery undertone and then this is like a pinky highlight and then there's more golden. So I'm going to go for the more golden one. Do you know, it was actually really nice hearing, I think it was Jordan Lipscomb talking about this way highlight palette. And it was actually really, really nice hearing like another YouTuber talk about Shannon Xo's makeup brand because I've never actually really heard of anybody talk about her brand before. And I feel like it is so underrated. <laughs> like I have a couple of her products now at this point and they're honestly so, so good. The only thing I haven't really tried is her lip liners and her eyelashes obviously her brand is from New Zealand and I'm obviously here in Ireland and I'm not even joking like the shipping was awesome I think I had spent <laughs> I obviously spent that much um purposely so I would end up getting free shipping and I'm not even joking like within two weeks it was here I didn't have to pay customs it was great it was awesome so I would really highly recommend like trying out Shannon so was brands I'm gonna be taking Vive Sunset Blush in Pesca this one here And then to bronze, of course, the Yvonne Gregg and Morphe bronzer. Still by far one of the nicest bronzers I actually have in my collection. It's just impossible to make this bronzer look crap. <laughs> or like muddy on your skin. It's just, oh, it's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to start on the lips before I finish off the eyes. So I'm going to take the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Good and Plenty. And I'm taking the Mellow Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lip Paint in the shade Ibiza. Is it Ibiza? Yeah, it is. This is actually my second one of these liquid lipsticks. They are so good. Especially this colour. It's amazing. <laughs> Basically, the reason I wanted to just do my lips first is because I kind of just wanted to show you what the finished look would look like. <laughs> um, whoa! You know the way you get like some wee things in your eyes and it kind of looks as if there's just like stuff floating about? I actually thought there was something crawling on my roof but it was just something in my eye. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what this look would look like if you just wanted to stop here. And that'd be that. Love that. But I'm obviously going to add a wee bit of sun sun to the lower lash line. Just take this look a wee bit further. Cloud and powders. <laughs> so for this, I'm actually going to take, well, obviously, of course, as I had said there, the e.l.f. liquid metallic eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Supernova. So it's the wee purple one. And then I'm also going to be taking the P. Louise Watch the Queen Conquer palette. So we we'll obviously have this side here then this side here and then it opens up like so i think you might actually be able to get this palette on be perfect cosmetics they obviously do peel away products so um yeah try and use my code to see if you're able to get 20 percent off this palette that'll be bloody amazing i'm not even joking um because anytime i do buy peel products i do get them off be perfect 
and I used my code. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to be taking this wee liquid eyeshadow and I'm just going to be running this along the lower lash line, just kind of see where it takes us. And I'm going to start in the inner corner as well, by the way. I was actually going to do blue on the lower lash line. That'll be class. Like a really, really nice summer Barbie blue. Like the colour of blue that's in the Barbie palette from Colourpop. That'll be stunning. But I just wanted to see what purple would be like. I was going to take this wee brush here and I'm going to blend that out slightly. Ow! While that's still tacky, I'm going to go into the P. Louise palette and take this shimmery shade here. See what I mean? Like, I think that would be class if that was like a bright blue. Okay, so I also just went off camera there and just put a wee bit of liner in my inner corners. I always have to do that off camera anyway, so I do apologise. Okay guys, so this does come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much, so, so much for watching and of course don't forget to check out my description box down below where I'll have all the pieces of jewellery that I did show you at the start of the video all linked and listed. So do check out Anna Luisa where they will have 20% off for Mother's Day. So please do go and check out their jewellery. It's absolutely stunning. I just know I absolutely love their jewellery. It's all I ever wear. So do go and check them out. And thank you so, so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring the first portion of today's video and I did hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.